All right, you're here to see what the rarest mobs in you know Terraria are, and I'm gonna go down the entire list of our rare mobs, and then we're gonna find out you know the statistics of what the actual rarest mob would be. So let's just get into it. All right, and first off, we have this little pink creature. Hey, get get out of here! We have this little pink creature called Pinky, and this is like probably the first rare enemy you're ever gonna actually like find. You know, it's a, it's a little thing. It has a one in 180 chance of spawning in place of a normal slime, which would be like a green slime, blue slime, yellow slime. Like it just has a one in 180 chance or 0.56% chance of spawning in place of those slimes. And I'm also gonna be using the scale that the life form analyzer uses. And it's a scale that goes from one to five. It's called a rarity scale. And um, yeah, Pinky would be a nice little two out of five on the rarity scale. A lot of health for like an early game enemy you can find. Probably gonna kill you if you only have a copper short sword. Pretty simple. So our next rare enemy is the Goblin Scout, which is a rare 1 out of 5 on the rarity scale, but it was even more rare before update 1.4.0.1. .1. This thing used to be a pain in the ass to find because you needed to find it and kill it multiple times so you can make a goblin standard of, you know, summon goblin armies. It was a pain in the ass, but the only requirement is that you have to be in the outer sixth of the world, which, you know, that's just basically past the dungeon to the ocean. You just gotta be in like that area. And he has a very small chance of spawning in. So like I said, he was a 1 out of 5 on the rarity scale and um, pretty easy to kill normally. So for this next one, you got to understand how enemy spawns work. And enemy spawns work in a 1 in 600 chance to spawn an enemy per tick. And ticks are rapid. You wouldn't understand like how fast these ticks are going. But there's a shit ton of ticks and it's a 1 in 600 chance for an enemy to spawn. So that's cool and all, right? So let's just do some math here. The next enemy is King Slime, which spawns at a 1% chance per spawn tick. So if we do some math here, 1% of 1 in 600, you're looking at 1 in 60,000 chance per tick to spawn King Slime. And there's even more requirements, wait for this one. So King Slime has a 1% chance of spawning naturally if the player is located in the outer lateral 6 of the map, which is, you know, like I said, Dungeon to Ocean, basically. The depth is above zero, it's daytime, and you're on green grass that just generated naturally. You can't just place the grass, it has to have generated there. And then you get your 1 in 60,000 chance per tick to spawn King Slime. So... That's pretty damn rare, but he doesn't sit on the rarity scale because he's just a boss. And the issue with this is, this is natural spawns, but you can just spawn them in. All you need is a king slime like crown thingy, you just spawn them in. So that makes him so much less rare. But if we're looking at chances, this I believe so far. What I mean so far, I mean I haven't even done the hard mode research yet. I believe that this is probably going to be the rarest enemy in terms of spawn chance. Again, at a 1 in 60,000 per tick. And our last enemy, this one's a critter. Or more like 10 critters. The last thing that spawns in the forest is the golden critters, which all spawn at a 1 in 400 chance or a 0.25% chance to replace a normal critter. And it sits at 3 out of 5 on the rarity scale, so pretty rare. Alright, our next rare enemy is in the jungle, and it's the Dr. Bones, which only spawns at night and is already just a rare enemy. What the hell? A Mystic Frog, that thing's rare too, but that's not even part of this video. <laughs> Dude, okay, thank you for spawning, I guess. But yeah, Dr. Bones spawns in the jungle at night. Rare enemy, it has a 2 out of 5 on the rarity scale, so you're gonna have a tough time finding this one, but... You know, it's, it probably happens naturally. It's happened naturally to mostly everyone, right? So, kind of a lengthy kill, but you'll probably get it. All right, our next rare enemy is the Dungeon Slime, which, you know, only really spawns in the dungeon, obviously. It carries the Golden Key, which is incredibly useful for, you know, dungeon -ness stuff, right? So, yeah, it spawns naturally in just Golden Key, and it sits at the 1 out of 5 on the mob rarity scale, so it's not the rarest thing in the world, but... You know, it's only ever spawning in the dungeon. It is a rare enemy, so yeah, that's why too. Also, really easy to kill. Also, here's one that I bet just a ton of y'all haven't seen. This isn't a rare enemy at all. It's just the spawn requirements are very just odd. They're not odd, but you you don't really do this. So, in the on the surface biome, if you make a surface glowing mushroom biome. And it's nighttime, you can spawn a spore zombie, and um, yeah, that's really about it. But the thing is, when you're building your, you know, glowing mushroom biome on the surface for your truffle, 
that's an NPC place, so enemies don't really spawn there. And this thing is not gonna spawn there because you know enemies don't really spawn. If you see you see what I mean here. So you need to build like a glowing mushroom biome on the surface that's not meant for your truffle, which is a, it's just a weird thing to do. So yeah, I'm gonna bet a lot of us have not seen this enemy, and it's just a normal little zombie, you know, nothing special, but Definitely an interesting mob that, you know, a lot of people just don't really see. Alright, and our next rare enemy is the Groom, who only spawns during Blood Moons. Um, I know probably everyone has seen this guy, you know, it's just like... Yeah, he's just kind of here. Kind of annoying, really, really healthy, you know, has way too much health. Really annoying to kill during Blood Moons, but... This guy isn't really the most rare person in the world, you know, he's at that 2 out of 5 on a rarity scale, but... I think it's, you know, he's knowable enough. He's a 2 out of 5. That's a lot higher than a lot of the others. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's why he's here. But he's by no means the rarest mob in the game. So, let me just kill him. All right. And probably the most famous rare mob on this list is the Nymph or the Lost Girl, depending on, like, you know, how you found it. You're looking at a 2 out of 5 on the rarity scale, which is the exact same as the Groom, oddly enough. But I feel like this thing just spawns maybe, like, Two times a playthrough. This thing just doesn't like to spawn ever. Has the rarest banner in the game, I'd assume, being the Lost Girl banner, unless that's changed, which, you no, know, probably has, but yeah, it, I know this one's the most popular because it scared the shit out of everybody the first time it spawned in. Drops a mill detector, which is, you know, basically amazing. And next up, we're looking at Tim, which being the, you know, cavernous, you know, it's kind of, it's a lot more rare than a nymph. Looking at a four out of five on a rarity scale, Tim can only be found in the approximate bottom third of your cavern layer and so you're looking at like this right you're looking at that so he can only be found here and just really a little bit of an annoying enemy right a little bit of an annoying enemy it spawns around drops the wizard hat doesn't really do too much for you like drops wise but if you're like trying to complete your bestiary this guy's gonna give you one hell of a problem and um the last place we should go is hell right and the last enemy for pre-hard mode is the guide voodoo demon doll person you know the voodoo demon and obviously it drops the demon that lets you or it drops the item that lets you get into hard mode which you know really useful um there's no like exact spawn chance but it has a one out of five on a very scale and obviously the most useful thing in the game and now we just gotta go to hard mode all right now that we're in hard mode we are now looking at just a few more enemies that can spawn in and are very rare and all this and all of that so let's go so the first enemy we're looking at is the clown, which used to be the most annoying NPC in the game. Without a doubt, I hated this thing. I despised it because you see these little bombs? They first off do too much damage, but they also used to explode tiles, which was eventually it was, it was eventually fixed. So, you know, thank God. Also, I have endgame gear. He just did 300 damage to me. But yeah, this guy's a very dangerous enemy. But he only has a 1 out of 5 spawn rate. He spawns in the hard mode Blood Moon, so you're going to see him a lot quote unquote a lot but yeah was, you'll see him a couple times and very annoying little guy and every time he dies an angel gets his wings all right and the next enemy we're going to be looking at is the rainbow slime which only spawns in the hollow while it's raining which is a really just interesting spawn condition i don't know but it's rare that you ever really find this in your world so if you do you know count yourself lucky it also drops rainbow blocks which are a really cool block and it sits at a 1 out of 5 on the rarity scale, so, you know, you're gonna see it a couple times, maybe, if you're, for some reason, in the hollow while it's raining and waiting for a rare enemy to spawn, you'll maybe find this little guy. And it's dead. Now, speaking of being in the right area while it's raining, if you go into the snow biome in hard mode while it's raining, there's gonna be a blizzard, and with a rarity of 2 out of 5 on the scale, there's this little guy, the ice golem. But yeah, you know, it's gonna be a rare enemy. It's also drops the essential frost cores and frost feather for the frost armor, which is a melee and ranged armor set. If you know, you know, it's one of my favorites. I love this, I love the armor set. But yeah, this guy is definitely a little beefy, but he's the easiest guy in the world to cheese. All you gotta do is this watch, watch, watch. And you won the fight. And just like that, he's dead. Again, 2 out of 5 on the rarity scale, but really easy to cheese. And he drops an ice feather and a frost core, so yeah. If you go into the underground jungle, you can find the most useless rare mob in the game. And it's only useless to give you butterfly wings, basically, because it drops butterfly dust. You In the underground jungle on hard mode, you can find a mop, which is, you know, just a really useless enemy. Look, it does nothing but fly. It's just flying. That's all it does. It doesn't charge at you. It doesn't really do too much. It's just kind of... It kind of exists, and um, it has a 2 out of 5 on the rarity scale, 
So you're not going to be finding it too often, but when you do, if you want your butterfly wings, this is definitely the way to get it. But, you know, really easy enemy to kill because it really does, it doesn't fight back. It just doesn't. So it's kind of, it's a little sad. It's a little sad. So the next enemy we have is the Mimic with a 4 out of 5 on the rarity scale. So this thing is rare, but you've probably seen it a lot because it can spawn in the entirety of the underground in a cavern. So it's not really a special requirement. You just got to be lucky enough to find it. And I love this guy because I know it scared the shit out of everybody the first time they found it, like the Nymph. You know, you go up to this chest, oh, I'm gonna lose this chest, I, I don't know how I haven't seen this, it's right at my elevator and it's right right there, and I've been down here 50 times, but now there's a chest, I never noticed it. You go to it, you get attacked by a mimic, two shots, and you're dead. So, yeah, a little 4 out of 5, and it's the third rarest enemy in hard mode, or specifically in hard mode, so, yeah, uh, you gotta be looking for it if you're actually trying to find it, you gotta be actively looking for those chests, so... Yeah, really annoying enemy, but it drops a lot of money and it drops really great items. So it's always a joy for me to kill it. All right, so the only enemy with a 5 out of 5 on the rarity scale being the second rarest enemy in the game, which I'll explain in a minute, is the Corrupt Crimson and Hollow Mimics, which only spawn, obviously, in the Corruption and the Hollow. And the, yeah, but this thing has a 5 out of 5 on the scale, which makes it the rarest enemy in the game when it comes to the scale. Where'd it go? Oh, it's still there. So this thing, obviously, one of the most annoying creatures in this game. I will stand behind that. It might just be the most annoying. So, yeah, you just I hate, I hate these things. And... Yeah, it's, you know, it's a little rare find. Oh my god, it's a 5 out of 5. But how is there something rare when it's the only 5 out of 5? And the issue is... Let me go home. Why is there pirates? I don't know. But if you put this down, and you put a key of night or light in it, you can spawn it. Which is a really, you know... I'm just saying... That colossally changes how rare this thing is. It's since you can just spawn it, it's like the King Slime situation. You know, King Slime, 1 in 60,000 chance per take to spawn in the right conditions. Really just, yeah. But it, it's it's spawnable, but in, in natural occurrence, it's probably the rarest. But if we're looking at the entire picture, that thing is just not that rare. So there is an enemy rarer, and you know, let's take some guesses. Let's, you know, if you're thinking, Let's, oh, okay, let's go down here. Boom. And what if it's a truffle worm? If you're thinking it's a truffle worm, you're entirely wrong. Now, 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 now. If you were thinking it was the bound wizard, I'll give you some bonus points for trying to be creative, but you are dead wrong. The actual rarest enemy in the game can only be found in this area. And let's say you're in this area. Now you have to find it. Good luck. Good luck because... The rarest enemy in the game is just like Tim. It is just like Tim, only being able to be found in the bottom third of your cavern layer, basically, so this area. You're looking at the Rune Wizard. The Rune Wizard is the rarest enemy in this game. So there's the Rune Wizard right there. It does a ton of damage to you, debuffs the hell out of you. It spawns so rarely, it sits at a four out of five on the enemies on the rarity scale, but this is the rarest enemy and Tim would also match because it's kind of the exact same thing. But Tim can be found in hard mode and pre-hard mode as the Rune Wizard can only be found in hard mode, making it even more rare than Tim. Yeah, this enemy is super annoying. Doesn't really drop that much useful stuff for like anyone ever. I can't really think of a time I had to grind this guy out. <laughs> Cause if you think I missed anything, do tell me because I bet I glossed over some rare enemies that I just, you know, couldn't recognize were just that rare. But yeah, really kind of tedious to kill, but you know, you get you get the rune set, which is just some vanity stuff. And um, that's really about it for, you know, this video. If I missed anything, please do tell me. And I love each and every single one of y'all. Do subscribe, check out my three hour long calamity video, which is my best video ever made. But thank you all for watching. I love each and every single one of y'all. And, oh, look at that shred. Look at that shred. And peace.